morning's promotion comes about due to the resignation of Sergeant David Allison, uh, who back in the fall informed us that he would be seeking a new career opportunity with the Tampa, Poli uh, Tampa Florida Police Department. Sergeant Allison uh, was in fact offered a position with the Tampa Florida Police Department and will begin in his new career with them next week. He leaves after a seven year, very dedicated career with the Johnson Police Department and we all wish him the very best in his new career. Um, but there is a very well qualified, very competent, and very dedicated officer standing in the wings ready to take his place. And that officer will be promoted very shortly. So at this time I'd like to call upon Chief Tamburini to say a few words. Good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is a big year for Joe. He's getting promoted today to sergeant, and he's also uh, getting married in July. Right? Getting married in July, and his his road is right there. And man, I don't know. Maybe we pay him too much. He's heading to Italy to get married. We <laughs> <laughs> have to look at his salary or overtime. Long as he takes the baby. <laughs> you know, Joe first caught my eye. Back in uh, 2003, when uh, when he was an explorer, and Joe really stood out from that whole explorer organization. He was a standout then, and he's a standout today. His dedication and courage is so impressive. And today's promotion is just the beginning. It's just the beginning of a long career for Joe. A, success, a successful career. The new sergeant will make a difference for a long time. I want to congratulate Joe's parents for raising such a fine son and helping us make him into the wonderful police officer that he is today. He's an outstanding police officer, and I am proud to present him to the mayor today to be promoted to sergeant. So at this time, please, Joe, accept my congratulations. Mom and Dad, congratulations on a great son. Congratulations. Please join me. Congratulations. <laughs> I, I promise I'll be brief, but I want to welcome, we have a Rhode Island uh, State Police, I want to welcome you uh, for being here. I know there's a Warwick Police Officer and any other law enforcement officer here, and of course, the men and women of the Johnston Police Department. It goes without saying, and I say it all the time, and I think they know it by now, maybe they're tired of hearing it, but I am very proud of them. They do a fantastic job. They, they in this town put their lives on the line every day. They work hard. They really do. And as I said before, as I, as I drive through the town in the mayor mobile with the police radio, I listen to the police, not the fire, by the way. Uh, they're busy. They are busy. They, they don't stop. They really do not stop. And, you know, they have a tough, difficult job. I had to watch my mouth the other day. I was talking to my fellow mayors, and uh, the mayor from Providence was there. And uh, I kind of slipped, but I, I caught myself, and I said, you know, we have a difficult time because we have to stop crime coming in from Providence. <laughs> but, uh, I said, well, you know, you have to. Crime comes in from Johnson too, to Providence. But it's true. I mean, we, we, we borderline Providence, not just the North Providence. So these uh, men and women have a very difficult job to do, as I said before. Uh, they really work hard for us, and we really appreciate what they do, and they're very, very respectable. And the public knows, the public feels secure. But when, when they put their heads down at night, they know that if anything happens, or if there's someone that's trying to break into their home or break onto their property, that the men and women of the police department will be there, and they'll be there in a hurry. So we're very, very proud. And uh, I was talking to the, uh, the, the future of Assad earlier, and I reminded him who's still in charge, even though he gets promoted. And, and actually, his mom corrected me. I really didn't really, but his mom's still in charge, and then after your wife's in charge. So I get that. <laughs> but uh, this is truly an honor to, to promote him. Uh, he uh, Obviously, he's worked hard. I, I remember the chief told me about a case uh, with a possible with a potential armed robbery where he really showed restraint. And uh, I don't know how he did it, but he really showed restraint where he, the circumstances could have been different. And uh, he obviously, he, uh, he, he's a, he's a, he was cool, calm, and collective. And I think the police officers know what I'm talking about. So without further ado, let's get him sworn in and let's get him to work. And uh, don't forget, you know, make sure you know where 52 Lakeshore Drive is. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to give you a little background on uh, Patrolman Salvador, we'll be patrolman not too much longer. 
Well, Kashumi Salvador has been affiliated with the Johnston Police Department for over 15 years. Prior to graduating the Rhode Island Municipal Police Academy in June of 2005, he was also a member of the Johnston Police Explorers Post for seven years, where he held rank for the last two years. After completing the program, Patrolman Salvador was hired as a full-time police dispatcher for the police department, working all three shifts. Patrolman Salvador graduated the police academy in 2005 and has served in the patrol division, working third watch. Patrolman Salvador has received one department commendation, two department ribbons, awarded the Lieutenant Johnson Top Gun Award, and one letter of recognition for his proactive and diligent police work. Patrolman Salvador is also a member of the Police Department Awards Committee and a certified TASER operator. Patrolman Salvador is a 2002 graduate of La Salle Academy and a 2008 graduate of Johnson & Wales University where he earned a Bachelor's of Science degree in Criminal Justice with a major in Psychology. He was also inducted into the Alpha Phi Sigma Criminal Justice Honor Society. In 2010, he earned a Master's of Science degree in Criminal Justice from Boston University. Patrolman Salvador is the son of David and Lori Salvador and of Johnston, brother to Lauren Salvador, and the fiancé of Francesca Florio of Providence. Chief, may I present Patrolman Joe Salvador to be promoted to the reign of Sergeant. Joe Salvador, be promoted to Sergeant. Thank you. Before I swear, man, you want, I, I asked him, what do you have somebody from the New England Patriots, a linebacker, but he said that's a good friend from Providence. Chris, I want to welcome you from Providence. <laughs> Please raise your hand and repeat after me. I, Joseph Salvador, I, Joseph Salvador do solemnly swear that I will be true and faithful unto this town and support the laws and ordinances hereof, as well as the laws and the Constitution of the United States of America, and that I will well and truly execute the position of sergeant for the term which I have been appointed or until, be, until another be engaged in my place, or until I am legally discharged therefrom. So help me God. Congratulations, son. Let's say hello to Mike Salvador out there. He's here, Mr. Salvador. Nice to see you. pictures with the new sergeant and uh, congratulate him. Thank you for coming and we appreciate you uh, always supporting the Johnson Police Department. Thank you. Daniel first, come on. <laughs>